language data video world. This is the part 2 of nominal compounds. The semantic relation of the elements of compounds to the compounds themselves also shows a wider range than thus the relation of the elements of modification construction to the construction. The meaning of a modification construction can always be inferred from that of its elements. Thus, the meaning of the modification construction, bahay na malaki, big house, is directly inferable from the meaning of bahay, house, and malaki, big. Given, of course, the equational meaning, implicit and modification constructions in general. In the case of nominal compounds, on the other hand, the meaning of the compound may or may not be inferable from the meanings of the elements even when the semantic relation between the elements is known. Thus, while the meaning of Bahai Pukyutan, B. Hai, can be inferred from the meaning of its elements, Bahai, House, Pukyutan, Honey. Once it is known that there is a possessive relation between the elements, the meaning of a certain other compounds involving a possessive relation cannot be inferred from the meaning of the elements. For example, bungang araw, prickly heat, probably reflects a possessive relation between bunga, fruit, and araw, sun. But the meaning of the compound is not inferable from the meanings of the elements plus the meaning of possession. And even in a such case as matang lawin, the meaning of the compound cannot be directly inferred from the meaning of the elements plus the meaning of the possession for the compound does not mean hawk's eyes but rather eyes like hawk's or king's eyes. Some of the more productive classes of nominal compounds in Tagalog are illustrated below. The basis of classification is the semantic relation that probably obtains between the elements of the compounds. No attempt is made to subdivide the classes according to the semantic relations of the elements of the compounds to the compounds themselves but since the meaning of the elements as well as the compound are given, the range of such relations within each class may do some extent by inferred from the example listed. Each listed compound is followed by a gloss of its elements and then by a translation. First, descriptive. The second element of the compound describes or specifies the first. In some cases, the first element represents a genus, the second a species, in others, the second element represents the material of which is the first is composed, in others, an educational relationship obtains. For example, we have here, Bahay Kubo, Hot, Barong Pamparti, Party dress, the meat panggabi, evening dress, the ang bakal, railroad trucks, dugong mahal, royal blood, hanging aminan, breeze, punong mangga, mango tree, sundalong kanin, cowardly soldier, labang lamig, stout by sticky person, taong lupa, mortal. As you can see at the middle of this example, if you're going to separate this two word, bahay kubo, it makes ha have a different meaning. Bahay, house, kubo, hut, and so on and so forth. The second one, we have the object. The first element of the compound expresses an activity, instrument, and so on, and the second express its object or goal. Basag ulo, fight, bayad utang, payment, biyahing bicol, trip to bicol, or vehicle bound for bicol, bukang bibig, favorite expression, 
hanap buhay, livelihood, ingat, yaman, pressure, luksong kini, kind of jumping game, pamatid, uhaw, thirst, quencher, panawag, pansin, attention, gather, pantawag, butom, something that appasses hunger. So again, if you're going to separate these two words, basag ulo, for example, you have a different meaning. Basag means breaking, ulo means head. The third purpose, the third one, the purpose of the nominal compound is also composed of the purpose. The first element of the compound represents an object. The second, the purpose or use of the object. And the second element is in most cases formed with the suffix an and has a locative meaning. Bahay aklatan, library. Bahay bakasunet, vacation house. Bahay kalakal, business establishment. Bahay paaralan, school house. Bahay sangraan, pawn shop. Mesang kainan, dining table. Mesang sulatan, writing table. Silid aralan, study room. Silid kainan, dining room. Silid tulugan, bedroom. The fourth one, we have the possessive. The first noun express something possessed by the second. Anak araw, albino. Anak mayaman, person born to wealth. Awiting bayan, fox song. Bahay pukyutan, bihay. Boses itis. Weak voice, bungang araw, prickly heat, matang lawin, keen eyes, saligang batas, constitution, sinagtala, ray of hot star, tintang in cheek, Chinese ink. The fifth one, we have the source. The first noun expresses an object, the second its source. Batang lansangan, homeless child. Bagoong balayan, pickled fish from balayan, buteteng laot, pot-bellied person, dalagang bukid, kind of fish, paru-parong bukid, kind of pot of life, pansit kanton, kanton noodles, putong pulo, rice cake from pulo, dipolyong bagyo, cabbage from bagyo, sukang iloko, Vinegar from the Ilocos, tubig ulan, rain water. One general fact about the order of elements within Tagalog nominal compounds in relation to that within English nominal compounds emerges from the above examples. That in cases where the two languages have compounds with similar elements and similar meanings, the order of elements within the Tagalog compounds is usually the reverse of that in the English compounds. For example, punong manga, puno tree, manga mango, versus mango tree. Pamatid uhaw, pamatid used for cutting, uhaw, thirst, versus thirst quencher. Bahay paaralan, bahay house, paaralan, School versus schoolhouse. Bahay pukyutan. Bahay house pukyutan hanigi versus bihay. Tubig ulan. Tubig water ulan rain versus rain water. In addition to nominal compounds, Tagalog also has certain compound adjectives and compound verbs bases. This Compounds resemble nominal compounds both in their formation, which involves the linker nang, and in the kinds of semantic relations that obtain between their elements. Thus, a possessive relation is implicit in such first compound adjectives as amoy isda, amoy odor isda fish, smelling of fish, lasa isda, lasa taste, is that fish tasting of fish? Second, an object relation and the basis of such verbs as magbigay galang, bigay giving, galang respect, show respect, or magbagong puri, bangon, raise, 
puro or puri, owner, and regime, one's owner. Because of the similarity of compound adjectives and compound verb bases to nominal compounds, no further treatment of adjectives and verbs is included in this text. So think of Prolessity in Expedia verb.